Hello, my name is Casper and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to upload files into the IPFS, which is a distributed system for storing and accessing files, websites, applications, etc. To achieve this goal, I created a React application with a simple input and buttons just to select the files from your computer and upload it to the network. On the right half of the screen is presented the demo of this application. So just to upload the file, I will click the Select File button, go to the, for example, Downloads category, Click the GIF and upload the file. So there is a few seconds time needed to upload it, but it will be displayed with all the preview. Yeah, like that, the file is uploaded. The functionality is run. There are no problems. Status OK. And you can find the link to the file. If you want to just see the solution for that uh, simple application, you can visit my GitHub account and there is a link down below in the caption with the repo which is responsible for managing all the files and all the code in this application. One of the very first steps in this tutorial is to create an account in the Infura just to have an access to the IPFS network. With Infura it's also possible to have an access to Ethereum network so you can build another decentralized application with that. To have it started, just click get started and go through the signing up. Yeah, I'm just uh, logged in so there is a dashboard displayed. So you have to just provide an email and go through the standard verification. Don't be scared if during the authorization of Infura account, the platform will ask you for the credit card details. It is just in case if the eventual payment will be needed. Infura has a free plan and if you not build a full scalable application, uh, which will upload a large amount of files, you will not be charged with money. To generate keys for your application, you have to click create new key and fill the inputs in the pop-up model. So right here you have to choose IPFS and just type a name for your project. Yeah, and that's all you click create and three keys are displayed on your dashboard and you have easy access to that. I will not do it right now to not show my credentials, but uh, it's very simple and you can proceed it. It's displayed with the hidden variables inside the keys on my medium blog article, so you can directly see how the screen should look like. Okay, do not make a too long tutorial. I created a special branch in my repo with the template of the application. You have to visit my account on GitHub. The link will be in the caption and go to the repo. Okay, so now I have two branches, master and template. Master has the entire finished version of the code and template with the basic template in HTML and CSS code. Okay, to start code and the React application, I will have to add the environment variables with the keys to store them and it will be done in the project directory, not in the source directory. And I will do it by adding new file.env and there we'll store two variables, React app project ID and React app project key. There we pass the project ID from Infura and project key also from Infura. It's uh, named the same. 
but to keep in mind, in React application, I can use the environment variables by default uh, with the prefix React app, otherwise it will not work. Okay, so right now I can import uh, use state hook to upload the images insti inside my local variable and the HTTP uh, client from Infura. So to have it done, I will type import use state from React and import create as IPFS HTTP client from IPFS HTTP client. I'm just importing it as uh, IPFS HTTP client, not a simple create to have the code cleaner and uh, see this in the function, not just a create word, but also know that it's from this package. You can follow it or just make it with create. And then I'm proceeding the variables from the environment file and I have to add two variables and project ID and it's equal to process dot and and now I type the name of the variable which is in dot n file and it's react app project dash id the next file is project secret key and I'm doing it the same way process dot env dot react app but project key okay so I have these two variables and to make our function of IPFS uh, HTTP client uh, authorized, I have to create a variable which will store the URL and uh, our keys to make a request uh, successfully. So, according to the Infura documentation, I'm creating a special environment variable. It will be call, called authorization and it needs the string basics with space and btoa project id plus and plus project secret key is the authorization token needed in the function in the latest implementation okay so the next step is to create a variables with the use state hook and it's uploaded images and set uploaded images and is equal to use state and initialize value is mtra okay and the next very important step using the ipfs http client will be declaring the variable ipfs with IPFS HTTP client and as arguments I'm taking the URL which is HTTPS IPFS dot infura dot io 5001 API 
zero. Okay, and another argument. Headers. I have to pass the authorization token. And it's authorization variable. It's all accorded to the Infura documentation, so it's not just like some freshly created variable, variable with the URL and authorization made by my uh, made on my own. So it's not the random words, random strings. It all has to be included like that. Next step is adding the unsubmit handler. So it is made also with the declaring the function and it's on submit handler is the asynchronous function because we will there use the IPFS function add from the HTTP client and I am taking an event because it will be files will be uploaded by input of type file and with the phrase event prevent default I will prevent the uploading just running this function without any file and I will declare the form variable to store the uploaded files in the input event dot target and files with the first uh, element on in the array of the form and I'm taking its files okay so there is needed a simple validation additionally and if there is no files or files length is equal to zero, zero. I will return an art that no files attached. Okay, some auto inputs. Okay, it has to be done like that. And I'm taking the file, which is the first element in the files array. Okay. And I can go through the uploading function. Uploading function looks like making a result with the await ipfs dot add function and there I will add a file declared above and uh, the result is stored in the variable result and now I can upload images in this case because I, in this scenario I will update only images and will store the previous state by adding the uploaded images and the two variables CID is the result dot CID it's returned from the function ipfs.add this function returns the file with the CID which is unique and the path result.path which is also unique and that's how the structure of this file will look like and I can reset the form to prevent some duplicated files uploaded in the IPFS. To show it on the HTML divs, I have to upload the variables in the GSX 
right here but before I will do it I have to make the correction there is not form.reset but form.reset okay now it's uh, working okay and right now I have to pass the function in the on submit make some validation if there is the IPFS file IPFS variable if not I should not display the form and go through the testing so to make it correctly I have to roll up the div container and I will add there a validation if there is the IPFS if there is an IPFS I will show that if not I will show null is the cleanest way of uh, handling the validation in the JS GSX file so it's better than making some end operator because you can have the ugly zero or one in the front end in the user inter in interface passed because of the true or false yeah if there will be not IPFS there will be displayed the zero so I am going through this okay to show the data in the JSX file I have to map the uploaded images uh, variable we'll make it inside the div with class name data and uploaded images map and there uh, we'll take image index arrow function and we'll pass the tags like that empty snippets just to make um, no error in the uh, mapping because I have to pass the one div and there is included the image tag the class name image which is tied in the CSS file also with the uploaded and index plus one because I need to make just if the image is not loaded the preview of the text with the incremented number of the file if there is some multiple files the source and I have the custom URL which can be found in the inferior documentation and after that to have an access to the IPFS network I have to pass the return image.path there is a quick styling do not make image too big too small just appropriate the key with the CID returned from the IPFS.add function and the index below just a preview of the uploaded URL to copy and paste in the browser to make it this app fully working there is one missing piece like adding on submit the function on submit handler and one correction in the authorization token just remove as and it will work thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the code is available on my github it's uh, linked in the caption below also the full version of the code and the detailed description is uh, available in the article version on my medium so just go there and after publishing video there will be another article with the uh, story how to make it properly with more details with more links and more screens explained so Thank you so much and see you in the next video.